Oh, hey girl, hey. I want to ask you ladies to excuse me for my absence over the last week or two. Um, if we're being 100% honest, I just was completely drained between working full time and trying to learn how to take better care of myself and trying to figure out how to work out and still have a social life and everything. Like I'm growing just like you ladies are and I just was flat out dead. So I want to thank you for your patience, um, but it actually worked out well because this week I have a question for you ladies. And that is when you're going through the week or the month or the year at a million miles an hour and you're trying to get as much done as you possibly can from the time you wake up in the morning until the time you go to bed at night, um, what is it that moves you? Like what gets you excited and what helps you keep a positive attitude and feel good about doing all of these things, some of which you might not even want to really do, but you know you need to do it, whether it's for your health or your job, it's going to be beneficial for you long term. But when you have to find the time to fit all of these things in, what is it that makes you do that? And on the other end of that, what drains you? Like, do you even know? And most of us don't. Like, when you're busy and you're running around and you're going through life and you're just trying to figure out, like, how you're going to get to that next thing or get that next check mark off your list, do you even pay attention to where your energy is and what is making you go and what makes you want to just flat out stop? Now, I know it's easy to know what you want in life or at least have an idea of what that is. And most of the time, we can figure out whatever it is that we need to do to get whatever we want pretty easily, right? But how often do we really stop and take the time to evaluate what it is that's keeping us going? Like, what is giving us energy and what makes us get up and do all the things all the time? Now, not necessarily all the time because, you know, I practice what I preach. So if you need to take a break, do that. And that's what I've done over the last week or two, just trying to get back into the swing of things and really do more of what makes me feel alive. Um, so this week, we're going to jump into key nine, and that is what moves you. Now, if you've been keeping up with us over the last couple of weeks and throughout the last few challenges, then you'll notice in our goal mining course that I talk a lot about defining your why and really going back to that why on a regular basis to keep yourself motivated to do all of the things that you might not always want to do. Now, discovering what moves you is a little bit different. Your why is your core. It's rock solid. It doesn't change on any given day. And it doesn't hold any more, any less weight as your circumstances change in life. It's literally like your reason. It's your angle and the purpose behind every action you take, whether you're happy or sad or exhausted or drained. Um, your why is that deep-rooted meaning behind everything that you do. Now, on the other hand, the things that move you will change constantly with different jobs and different projects and different stages of your life. These are the things that get you excited and make you feel good and the things that energize you and allow you to keep a positive attitude about doing all of the things that you may not necessarily want to do. These are really like the things that make you feel comfortable and confident in yourself and your work because they allow you to be who you already are. They kind of bring out the best of you in a sense. And they're not forced. You should not feel exhausted after doing these things. These are the things that literally take that feeling of obligation out of the picture as you go through your normal day to day. So in order to maximize your productivity and keep a positive attitude about doing the things that you don't always want to do or have the energy to do or the time to do, you have to be aware of your energy and you have to be able to acknowledge what it is that brings you joy, what brings the best out of you, what helps you be the most productive. And on the other end of that, you also have to be able to pinpoint what it is that drains you. If you're always feeling tired and exhausted, it's not because you're doing too much. It's simply because you're not doing enough of those things that actually bring out that light in you. 
Now, for each individual, this is going to be different. If you're a family person, flexibility is probably what moves you. You probably do your best work at home, on your couch, after eating dinner with your spouse and kids. You don't want to be tied to overtime and working holidays, and you don't want to miss your children's school play in the middle of the day. You want to be able to work on projects on your time, and you're most efficient when you have that flexibility to do these things. Now, if you are more of a visionary, then creative freedom is probably what moves you. You probably do your best work when you're able to be seen and heard and toss ideas around without being locked into like a very strict scope of work. You don't want to be tied to a project outline or someone else's vision. You want to be able to create a concept and you work best knowing that you have the freedom to bring your specific ideas to life. But regardless of who you are, you have to figure out what it is that moves you and then find ways to do more of whatever that is in your job and your business and your relationships. So this week, I'm challenging you ladies to figure out what it is that moves you. We've created a quick and easy quiz to help you identify what moves you based on your personality. And I want each of you to go take the quiz, identify what it is that moves you, and then find at least two ways to incorporate your results into your day-to-day -day life this week. By the end of next week, I guarantee you'll feel more energized and have a better attitude about tackling your day-to-day -day obligations. And I cannot wait to hear what you ladies come up with. So go take the quiz. Share the quiz results graphic from our Q&A section of our story and let us know what it is that you found out. Quiz is quick and easy. It's just a couple of questions. Your results will be emailed to you. And then, like I said, get involved. Share our um, Q&A graphic and circle the one that you got. So whatever your results are, screenshot that, circle it, and share it on your story and tag us. Can't wait to see what you ladies come up with.